Okay, after you selected your servo type, you can go ahead and plug in your battery, I mean your your battery in your servo, your tail servo. Okay. All right, now it's plugged in. Next step you need to do is your uh, uh, rudder servo limits and your um, gyro correction direction. Okay. All right. Um, make sure your tail. First of all, you you want to make sure your tail, uh, your rudder, is moving in the correct direction. Okay. For me, basically, what you want to happen is uh, whichever way your the trailing edge the trailing edge of the uh, tail blade is facing that is the direction your uh, the nose of the helicopter is going to turn so basically if I that's right rudder okay and see how that is the right rudder command then I'm in heading hold right now okay um, you will see that the tail the the trailing edge is facing to the right that mean the helicopter you should turn right okay and that is correct I am giving it right rudder so it should turn to the right okay okay so basically for me for my beam 450 that's right com uh, right rudder command that's left okay let me fold these uh, blade tips so you can see what's happening okay that's right and that's left right and left. You see how the slider is moving? That's that's right rudder. That's left rudder. Okay. Now uh, to check if your gyro is correcting in the proper direction, let's say you give it right rudder. Okay. And if you move your helicopter nose to the right, that slider should go in the opposite direction. Okay. So, See if I move it to the right, and it is moving in the opposite direction, so it is correcting in the proper direction right now. But let's say it wasn't. Um, what you need to do is basically when you plug in your battery, you want to go into the programming mode within, uh, I believe, 10 seconds or 20 seconds. Um, I'll go ahead and power cycle it now. Okay, go ahead and push it in. Okay, and I believe, see how there's no lights on right now? That is the first parameter, is a gyro correction. If I push my rudder the other way, now the light is on. Okay, but I, but my, uh, so if your gyro was not correcting in the uh, proper direction, either you, either, uh, you, you push right or left to change that option, okay? So for me, light off is correct, but if it wasn't correcting uh, properly, you want to leave the light on, okay? So mine is um, correct with the light off, and at this time you can go ahead and push the um, button again, to go to the next parameter, which is the servo limits. Um, right now, It's, it goes to one side, doesn't matter which side is first. Um, get there all the same. Okay, now you're going to need to move your rudder until, you know, it's, it's as, as far as possible without binding and you don't hear the servo buzzing. For me, that's as far as I can go without it have it buzzing. Okay, now once you have it that side, you're going to press that button again to do the other side. And see how it's, see my slider see on the other side now, you can just going to move it. If it's buzzing like that, that means you you got too much, then you're going to back off till you stop hearing the buzz, and you're going to back off just a slight more here, okay? And, uh, and basically you press that button again and you're done. Okay. 
Now you power cycle your helicopter, and you're all set. You're all set for the first flight. Okay. Thanks for watching.